discuss about fourth unit of electronic circuits the title of the fourth unit is wave shaping and multi vibrator circuits the course outcome of this unit is at the end of the course the learners should be able to analyze wave shaping and multi vibrator circuits so let us see the content of the fourth unit so first topic is rc and rl integrator and differentiator differentiator circuits storage delay and calculation of transistor switching times speed up capacitor diode clippers diode comparator clampers collector coupled and emitter coupled a stable multi vibrator mono stable multi vibrator bi stable multi vibrators triggering methods for bi stable multi vibrators and finally schemic trigger circuit so in this video we are going to discuss about the topic on rc differentiator and rc integrator so before starting the concept of rc differentiator we should uh, see the introduction about the wave shaping circuits what is the definition of wave shaping circuit so wave shaping as the name suggesting the shape of the wave should be changed by using some linear elements so example diode the process of changing the shape of non sinusoidal signals by passing the signal through the linear elements is called wave shaping so the examples of non sine waveforms are step waveform pulse waveform square waveform and ramp waveform so now we are going to start with the topic rc differentiator so what is mean by rc differentiator so this rc circuit is also called as high pass filter high pass filter circuit so this circuit which contains the components of resistor and capacitor so it is also called as high pass rc circuit so the construction like the capacitor series capacitor and a shunt resistant so the reactance of the capacitor the reactance of the capacitor can be given as yes it have one uh, formula the formula should be given as xc equal to 1 by 2 pi fc so whenever the xc decreases with the increase in the frequencies and here this is the circuit diagram for rc differentiator so the circuit shows the capacitor and the resistor should be connected so this vft is the input voltage and ift is the current current in this circuit and v not of t is the output voltage at high frequencies this capacitor act as a short circuit so because all the high frequency components appear at the output so I just not to, uh, before told that right this rc differentiator is also called as high pass filter so what is mean by high pass filter so the high pass filter which selects only the high frequency component okay so in this resistance the voltage drop across resistance is very small compared to the voltage drop across the capacitor c so uh, this is the uh, graph which shows the output of the rc differentiator and this is the magnitude gain and this is this is called as the phase of the signal so here we can see some important derivations the current flowing through the capacitor so yes here this ift this ift can be given as c into d vc of t by dt so this is what differential equation so i can use d into vc of t by dt now this vc voltage across the capacitor can be can be equal to v ift input voltage then ift equal to c into dv ift by dt the output voltage the do, the drop across the r can be given as v not of t equal to this i into t into r i into t into r so let me do the differentiation so v not of t equal to r into s yes. so substitute the value i of t in this equation okay this i of t value i am going to substitute in this equation so v not of t equal to rc into dv i of t by dt now i am going to apply kvl kirchhoff's voltage law in the differentiator circuit so what is mean by kvl so kvl is nothing but as sum of potential drop equal to sum of potential rise now 
I am going to write the equation. Yes, I am going to apply KVL in this circuit. The equation can be given as V I of T input voltage equal to V C of T capacitor voltage plus V R of T the voltage across the resistance. Now I am going to uh, rewrite this equation as V I of T equal to 1 by C integral 0 to T I of T into D T plus I of T into R. So apply the Laplace transform on both the sides. So V I of S equal to I of S by S C plus R into I of S. Okay. In this equation you can take I of S as common. So I of S equal to R plus 1 by S C. So now I of S can be written as V I of S by R plus 1 by S C. So now the output uh, the output V naught of T can be given as I of T into R. Now V naught of T equal to I of T into R. So according to Ohm's law, V equal to I into R, right? So now we can apply the Laplace transform again. So V naught of S equal to I of S into R. So I of S, we already found out the equation. So I of S is this value. Now substitute this value in this, in this equation. So V I of S into R by R plus 1 by SC. Now the transfer function. The transfer function can be given as G of S. G of S equal to V naught of S by V I of S. That is what output by input. So now V naught of S, we already found out the value. Yes, V I of S into R by R plus, R plus 1 by S C. So here uh, this V I of S and uh, yes, this V I of S can be cancelled. So we can get the equation as 1 by 1 plus 1 by SRC. So you can take LCM. This denominator SRC going to the numerator. So SRC by 1 plus SRC. Now substitute the value S equal to J2 pi F. Okay. So after substituting the value G of F equal to J2 pi RCF by 1 plus J2 pi RCF. Okay. Now you can take uh, J, uh, J as common in this equation. So J is common. So 1 by 1 minus J into 1 by 2 pi RCF because this J pi 2 RCF and this J pi 2 RCF can be cancelled to each other. Okay. Yes. And uh, finally, uh, yes, uh, now uh, I am going to write this uh, G of F as a uh, different equation. This G of F equal to 1 by 1 minus J into F1 by F because where F1 is the lower cutoff frequency and the formula for lower cutoff frequency F1 can be given as 1 by 2 pi RC. You can substitute the value in this equation. So you can get the equation as this one. G of F equal to 1 by 1 minus J into F1 of F. So here this A is the magnitude of the RC differentiator and pi is the phase angle. Again uh, this is the equation for the step input. The RC differentiator under step input. Uh, these are the step input uh, values. And finally, we can get the output as V naught of T equal to V into E power minus T by RC. And this is under step input and this is for pulse input. And here uh, the uh, output of the high pass filter can be shown here clearly. And uh, this RC differentiator under the square input and finally RC differentiator under the ramp input. Okay. Yes. And now we are going to discuss about the concept of RC integrated. So here RC differentiator is a high pass filter but RC integrated is a low pass filter. Okay, what is the function of low pass filter? The low pass filter is which only allows the low frequency component. Okay, so the circuit consists of a series resistor and a shunt capacitor. Okay, so it passes the low frequencies and attenuates the high frequencies. Okay, it rejects the high frequencies. The capacitive reactants, uh, reactants decreases with the increasing frequency. And now this is the circuit of the RC integrator. Now a capacitor can be connected and also one resistor should be connected. So V I of T is the input and V naught of T is the output voltage. So the current through the R. So the I of T can be given as V I of T divided by R. The output voltage across the capacitor can be given as V naught of T equal to V C of T. Right. So this output voltage is equal is equal to this voltage across the capacitor so equal to 1 by c integral i of t into dt so now substitute the value i of t in this equation i of t this is the value of i of t substitute this i of t into this equation so we can get us this equation so you can uh, take laplace transform so v i of s equal to 
IFS into R plus 1 by SC. Okay. So, here the current as the function of S. So, IFS equal to V IFS by R plus 1 by SC. Okay. After a simplification, we can get the output V naught of S equal to V IFS by 1 plus SRC. And the transfer function is G of S equal to 1 by 1 plus SRC. The same method, okay. Like for like for RC differentiator, we can apply the same value for S, S equal to J2 by F. So substitute the value of S in the in the G of S equation. And finally, we can get as G of F equal to 1 by 1 plus J into F by F2, where F2 is the upper cutoff frequency and F2, F2 equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. And yes, you are seeing the output of the RC integrator. Yes, this RC integrator output shows a two waveform, and this is what the input sinusoidal waveform. Here you can see uh, the waveform have the maximum voltage Vm, and the negative maximum voltage can be given as minus Vm. And the second graph is nothing but as the output of the RC integrator. Okay, output of the RC low pass filter. You can clearly it the uh, diagram shows this diagram which uh, removes the high frequency component and it allows only the low frequency component. So you can see the magnitude sorry as yes, uh, amplitude the amplitude should be decreased and uh, the gain A is always less than unity and the phase angle is always lagging. So this is the uh, output waveform for RC integrator. Thank you.